Hello, and welcome to the nightly show with your one and only host, me. Today we are going to talk about a recent topic, Jackson Pollock. About a 60 years ago, famous painter, Jackson Pollock, died. We are now here to celebrate his life. I have with me is a special guest who knows a lot about Jackson Pollock. Welcome Jerry. Hello, it is nice to be here. You enlighten us about Mr. Pollock's life. Sure thing, Franken. Pollock was born in Cody, Wyoming in 1912 on January 28th. Leroy Pollock, who was his father, was a land surveyor and farmer. While his mother, Stella McClure, desired to be an artist. It's pretty cool. Did Jackson Pollock have any siblings? Indeed he did. He was actually the youngest of five children. And after his dad left his family, his eldest brother essentially became his father. That same brother was also an amateur artist, whom Pollock also went to live in New York with when he was 18. That's some hard-hitting stuff. Quick reminder to subscribe. Anyways, before Pollock left Los Angeles to live in New York with his brother, he enrolled in manual art school, where he discovered his interest in art. He got expelled twice and he left the school to indulge in other creative interests. When he got to New York to live with his brother, he studied with his brother's professor, Thomas Hart Benton. Like Barry B. Benson. Not quite. Benton was a representational regionalist painter at the Art Students League. Be right back after a short commercial break. When we come back, we are going to discover what Jackson Pollock did during the Depression era. Have no will to live. Don, you don't need to kill yourself just Introducing the Sentit Pack. Get the Sentit Pack before it's too late. Hello and welcome back. Let's continue. So, Jerry, what did Pollock do during the Depression? Pollock was recruited to work in a program called the Public Works of Art Project, which was made to hopefully get the economy back into motion. Pollock was in the PWAS Mural Division, where he created thousands of works. During that time of his life, however, he was heavily invested in drinking. He received psychiatric help for his addiction. His psychiatrist also inspired him to add more symbolism in his art. That is really cool. I did not know that. Tell me more about Jackson Pollock's drip art style. Pollock started his drip method during 1947, where he would usually put a canvas on the ground and let the paint drip from the paint pan, hence the name of the drip method. He would also use other objects like sticks and knives rather than the conventional paintbrush, it made him very famous. The only problem with being famous is the pressure. Pollock was under a lot of pressure and did not enjoy performing for the camera. He then started to drink a lot more during 1950. Pollock abandoned the drip art style and started to paint in just black and white. By 1956, Pollock had stopped painting altogether, and his drinking problem got out of hand. He died due to his severe addiction. What a way to go. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for today. Please give Jerry a round of applause for coming. Thank you, Jerry. Thanks, Franken. Thanks for your time and have a great night.